I'm joined here by Professor Maki Kawai. Uh, so, hajime uh, Kawai Sensei. Oh, that's great, yeah, hajime mashite. <laughs> Very nice to meet you, and many congratulations on your Royal Society of Chemistry Honorary Fellowship. This is so great. I didn't think about it. And so, when I received a mail saying that you will be Honorary Fellow of the Royal Society of Chemistry, I thought this was something by mistake, <laughs> but the name was on there, so I'm so delighted, yeah. And so in, in, in order to have, well, sharing the knowledge for all around the world, it's very important to have this networking systems, and I think it's working quite nicely nowadays. And uh, I think UK and Japan have a similarity in a way that we are surrounded by the, the water, and um, so we can be easily isolated if we don't uh, seriously go for networking. A great honour really looking back at who else has received the honorary fellowship over the years. So, uh, yes, yeah, really thrilled. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually see chemistry as quite a unifying science. It links physics and biology, and, and you know, one of the reasons I'm getting this award is for my study of uh, using chemistry, physics, to study membrane proteins. It's really special because when I was a postgraduate in Oxford, Carol was a postdoc, so she was one of the people that was a couple of steps ahead of me, and um, interestingly, one of the only scientists I knew with kids that actually had to go and get them at a certain time, so she was... Um, a real landmark in my early career as somebody that was just slightly ahead of where I was in terms of her career development and um, a real inspiration even then. It's cheesy to say everybody always says chemistry is essential science, but it, it does. It's grounded in a relatively small number of basic principles and you can apply those across such a huge spectrum. The Royal Society of Chemistry has given me so much over the years and it's good to give an awful lot back. The importance of research, that's essential. However, the importance of education is such that we're building the researchers of the future and that's where there are a lot of teachers, a lot of volunteers, those individuals that give up their time to really enliven chemistry for the young people. If that didn't happen, we wouldn't have the researchers of the future. So, many congratulations on the, the Tilden Prize. Thank you very much. So I'm very happy to take it as a recognition of all the postgraduate, postdoctoral, undergraduate and, and uh, researchers and colleagues who have, who, who have worked with over the years. So it, it, all science is a team effort. So I'm taking it as that and then that dampens my embarrassment. And I didn't realise, I guess, how much other people do within the community, sort of for voluntary service or interdisciplinary prizes, prizes for industry. So I think it's good to recognise, I guess, a great range of different awards. I'm really delighted, thrilled also, to be in this, uh, you know, RSE and then premises and then receiving it. I'm really very, very glad. Well, uh, you've been very, very successful in infusing students for many years now, so many congratulations again on your award. We're very pleased to have you. Enjoy the rest of the evening. So thank you very much indeed. It's a little bit overwhelming, especially in the context of the awards, seeing so many award winners, many that I respect uh, or have respected for a long time. Um, and it's really a recognition of my group's efforts over the past 10 years. Things are transforming um, right now. So in, in the past we have a, had a set of methods in theoretical and computational chemistry um, that we teach to undergraduates, but that's really all changing. So machine learning, artificial intelligence, um, so everyone from professors to PhD students um, to undergraduates are all learning new techniques now, techniques from maths, from computer science, and it's quite exciting the possibilities looking forward.